The emotional service started at 4 p.m. and was attended by Gambians from all walks of life. <laughs> Former Gambia coach Peter Bono Johnson died on July 28 at the age of 56. Many Gambians describe him as a man who dedicated his entire life to the service of country, from being a footballer to coaching at every category of our national football. On Monday, the funeral for Mr. Johnson was held nine days after his death. <laughs> Shortly after services ended at St. Therese's Parish Church, Johnson was transported to the Old Joshua Christian Cemetery where he was laid to rest. Well, we have missed a very important person in the annals of football as a player, as a national player, a coach. I had the opportunity working with Bono at the Scholar Athlete for Change this last couple of years, of which he has been very useful and very helpful. You can see the crowd. Bono was a very polite man, a gentleman in his own way, on and off the field. And as a result, he has proven himself. In the evening, Gambian thronged his house in Sanchaba to continue to pay their respect to him. His life was one of joy and accomplishment. And the fact that um, everybody who came today came to celebrate um, 
an achiever. Um, really, it's satisfying for me. Bono is a nice guy. He is not tribalism. Everybody is equal to him, whether you are a family member or not. Um, the moment he knows you or the moment he sees you, he term you as his own biological son or daughter. Bono hamna tuti simwom paske kon jabara monyo ame won yun si chojbe. The time when you don't know that you don't take condom. Most of you feel you feel like we don't have a father. So he was always there for us. Mr. Peter Bodin Johnson was the one that replaced the work that my great that my grandma was doing here in the south. And you could hear that yesterday from the tributes, people crying, you know, him paying school fees to other people and everything that he's been doing, knocking doors and you know that was him. Um, um, <clears throat> um, growing up with him they, as well, as you, as you know, he had a whole football team called the Flemings football team. And, you know, he will recruit people. You, if, if, anyone that follows the story of Mr. Peter, Peter Bono Johnson, he offers his life to the local community of New Joshua and Serkunda West and to the church. The, that's why today, if you watch the Mass, we had almost all the priests Gambian players attended, even the bishop was there, and he was the kind of guy. Peter Bono Johnson was a top Gambian football mind who, according to the Gambia Football Federation, between 2004 and 2008 and from 2012 to 2013, worked as assistant coach of the senior national team. However, his biggest achievement as a manager came in 2007 when he guided the Gambia under-20 team to third place at the African Youth Championship and a maiden appearance at the World Youth Championship in Canada, where they exited at the knockout stages. In January 2012, he was appointed as the head coach of the senior national team, but his stint was short-lived after he left in May of that year. He returned as head coach in 2013 for another short stint and was appointed the Chan team manager in 2015, but left after three months following the team's exit at the hands of 